This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a rare 1972 Dodge Demon. So the Demon was made for two years, 71 and 72. Um, and then it was canceled. I believe it had something to do with the Catholic Church um, wanting to cancel the Demon. Maybe the FCA got involved too, but um, they came back out with a newer style Demon. Uh, I think it was 2018, they made about 3,000 models. Um, but very hard to find cars. This one's just beautiful too. I love the color on this one. It's just fantastic. Yeah, really neat looking cars. Dalton, this is a factory Demon. However, it came from the factory as a six cylinder Demon. Um, it's been replaced with a 340 engine. Runs excellent. It's got the stock manifold, power steering. Original fender tag still here. Yeah, really good looking car under the hood. How about air conditioning? How important is that in today's day, huh? Yeah, it makes it nice. Yeah, very nice. Uh, as far as a drum brake car, um, got the big radiator in it. AC is all complete. The AC does work and um, Good looking engine bay. It's really a good looking car in general. The yellow with the um, black decals down the side, snorkel hood. Neat car. The wheels and the stance on this one, they'll really set it off. Uh, not to mention, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you just don't find a 71, 72 Demon with really any solider floors than this one. Uh, the floors, frame rails, rear frame rails and trunk floor are absolutely rust free underneath. Uh, pretty much all original metal from what I can see. As we go to the front bumper, uh, both of the bumpers are kind of this way. They both look 100% original. You can see just some little uh, oxidation on it, but uh, all in all in great shape. How about that grill? I mean, the grill's in awesome shape as well. A couple little chips as far as in the, the silver, just showing a little black, but uh, not broken anywhere that I can see. To me, this is just the right color yellow too. It's not the pale yellow. Um, it's not super, super bright and flashy. It's just right in the middle. And then just that little bit of that, uh, that Argent and those Riddler wheels, it really just tames the yellow down too. Yeah, it does. We have just a little bit of a paint run right here. You can just see just a little bit of the clear coat right there. Um, bottom of the front fender, rocker panel, door, all that's rust free. No bubbles or blisters. The back of the door lines up beautifully back there. Original handles, and they're in awesome shape as well. A couple little pits there. The window seals up very nicely. As we look over the top of the roof, um, no dings, dents, nothing like that. The back glass and the uh, rear package tray, the top of the back seat, all that stuff looks good. The chrome looks good around the back. But the biggest thing is just how solid and straight this is. You can see in the background a little 63 Nova, the next one on deck here for us. Here's another uh, iconic thing of the Demons. You know, not just the decals, the stickers, but the taillights. Um, you can really, uh, you can definitely, even if they didn't have the stickers, you can tell the difference here if you got a Demon or not with the taillight panel. I was thinking back in the day, I bet in 71, 72, um, you would not like your daughter's boyfriend pulling up in a, a Dodge <laughs> Demon. Might make you a little nervous letting her go out. Yeah, exactly, man. Cigarette out the window and the freaking Demon decals all over it, right? Long hair. Yep. <laughs> you can just picture the guy right now. Or I can picture him. Um, Magnaflow exhaust, it sounds good. Nice chrome tips. Again, the back bumper, front bumper, just a little micro scratches in it. Um, it's kind of nice to have just a little bit of the originality with the car though. Uh, trunk lid here fits great. 
As we look, there's a little paint chip in here, down in that area. Really not a ton of chips, though. I mean... Not really. No, it's a great car. Again, doors open and close, great. They did a nice job when they did the door jams as well. I mean, the paint and the door jams looks great. It really helps, though, when you start with a rust-free car, you know, for the most part, as far as the floors. Big difference. Corner of the door here is awesome. They got in behind here and laid the paint up in there nicely. The door panels are great. Again, demon there. Dash pad is awesome. Wood grain on the dash is nice. We got uh, 35,497. I'm guessing it's a, you know, it's a 135, um, but it's hard to say. Headliner's awesome. Looks like that's all been replaced. The seat covers have definitely been replaced. And feel that doll, it feels like leather to me. I mean, it's definitely not your normal vinyl at all. Feel it? Oh, it's really soft. Yeah, it's yeah very, the whole interior soft. on this car is really nice. And yeah, restored. matching front and back. I mean, they redid that. Carpet's excellent. It's got the correct seat belts. You mean, uh, I do have a um, dome light cover on the way. The dome light works. Visors are new. I mean, the whole interior is completely restored, and they did a fantastic job with it as well. Got the little armrest here, seat belts in the front. Um, does have a Grant GT steering wheel. And when they did the restoration also, I mean, they painted the top of the dash beautifully. Here's the corner of the door here. As we look up and down the driver's side, the bottom and um, the bottom of the door in the front and the rear lines up awesome to the quarter panel and the rocker. The body decals line up great. Damn, this car is sexy, man. It's a cool ass car. That yeah, is. Tire treads in great shape. A lot of tread there. Um, we got 225, 45, 17s in the front. We got to also remember these wheels. I mean, these wheels look good on a Mustang. They look good on about anything. Yeah, they're like a nice mix of like modern, but also like classy and subtle. Yep, definitely. Like I said, it tames the yellow down really nicely. Uh, back of the hood lines up great to the top of the fender, cowl, door. Both doors just open with ease. Paint just gleams here in the door panel and the uh, door jam as well. Just a little bit you can see on the original armrest is in good shape, but probably could use to be re dyed again. It's got the factory gauges. We could probably hop in this and take it for a little spin. We were talking earlier, um, we have a few things left to do on the car, so we'll kind of go through that a little bit with you. It's just getting ready to head out to a shop to get some of these things completed, so we wanted to be able to get uh, video done up and on the website. Yeah, especially as it's cleaned up. So um, as far as the, the horn stuff, everything's complete here, but we've got a couple new horns going on it. Uh, gas gauge works. Uh, speedometer is not working. Wipers is not working. The heat and air does work. How about a radio D? Got anything there? We'll try that out a little bit. But it is going to shop to get the wipers fixed and the speedometer yeah. as well. So he's got to be smarter than the radio. Well, the radio works. I don't know what we're yeah. listening to, but it works. <laughs> Something back in the 70s, I think. Goes into gear nice. Another thing we're, uh, we're fixing 2D is the kick down. So giving it a tune up and uh, get that kick down working and stuff like that. So just thought we'd give you just a little bit of a preview of what it's going to be like. Um, and then we're obviously going to have it all tuned up and ready to roll. Now we do have drum brakes on it and they're not power. But as far as our pedal goes, the pedal's way up top. Got good stopping power. Actually, kind of threw you back a little bit. Didn't yeah, it? Didn't you know that power disc, huh? Too good. Going down the road nice. Like you said, once you get once you get the car adjusted, yeah, a little bit, that's the thing. Be... It goes down the road awesome. I mean, we're doing about 60, 65 right now. 
way it feels. Um, and it goes down the road nice and straight. I love the car, it's just we gotta get it a little faster from zero to 60 and that's what we'll do. Yep, and we got about 30 cars, new inventory sitting here at County Classics waiting to get in and on the web. So that's why this one, you know, we're getting it up for you, giving the opportunity to buy it and it's heading out uh, to get some of these things taken care of. But an awesome car, even the, the I'm sure you pointed this out already, but the wood grain and everything on the dash and yeah, and the all plastic, the all of it, isn't it? Even the, the heater controls and stuff like that. You see how nice and clean they are? So many times that white is just completely rubbed off. Yeah, it's um, awful nice. Looks to me like it's almost a recent restoration. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like very recent, but just a really nice quality car and something that you do not see every day. Something that I can't remember the last time we had one here. I've had one other Demon. It was about 16 years ago. Um, I think it was even a clone, but a guy cloned it to a Demon and it was Panther Paint. The guy I sold it to 16 years ago still has it, I heard about. Really? So yeah, yeah, we should try to get that one back, eh? Yeah, that'd be neat, that'd be neat. All right, we'll check this thing out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'm gonna put the link down in the comment section of this video. Um, check this one out, along with all our other inventory. Uh, thanks for watching.